Hello, everyone. I'm Zhang Yanling, a Huawei engineer. Today, I'm going to introduce the multi-level rollback function of Huawei's Level 3 autonomous driving. All network engineers may encounter local or even network-wide service exceptions during network changes. If the change or troubleshooting cannot be completed within the allowed time window, rollback is the ideal choice to quickly restore services. Traditional rollback needs to be manually performed step by step in reverse to the change process and involves many devices in most cases. The entire rollback process is complex and time consuming. In some cases, the rollback cannot be fully completed and only some services can be restored. To quickly and completely restore all services, Huawei iMaster NCE Fabric provides the multi-level rollback function, including tenant and service level rollback. Multi-level rollback can meet the rollback requirements in most change scenarios. Now, let's look at the rollback process in detail. Let's start with tenant level rollback. Tenant level rollback restores the network on a per tenant basis. The change and rollback operations of a tenant do not affect the services of other tenants. This mode applies to the scenarios where there are a large number of tenants and only services of a single tenant need to be rolled back. In this example, a tenant's test service needs to be taken offline. Now, let's see basic tenant-level rollback operations on iMaster NCE Fabric. First, generate snapshots to back up the tenant network data. To do so, go to the Tenant Snapshot page, select the desired tenant in the tenant list, and click Create to generate a snapshot for backup purposes. After we perform these operations, we can now delete the service for the tenant. On the VPC orchestration page, However, during service verification after the change, it is found that other services are affected after the test service is deleted. In this case, we need to roll back the change to restore the service. Go to the Tenant Snapshot page and select the corresponding tenant. In the snapshot list, we can see the snapshot that we created before the change Click the Restore icon in the Operation column, select a Rollback mode, and perform the rollback. After the rollback task is complete, go to the VPC orchestration page again. The deleted service and other services are restored. Next, let's move on to Service Level Rollback. Service level rollback restores the network based on a single services provisioned on iMaster NCE Fabric. When the service configuration is submitted, iMaster NCE Fabric automatically generates a change record. When an exception occurs, the service level rollback function can quickly roll back the service configurations that have been successfully delivered to the configurations that existed before the delivery. In this example, a bank's data center needs to launch a new test service. To ensure that services run normally, the bank wants to simulate and verify the service before delivering it. The detailed procedure is as follows. On the tenant page, click Create Design State Task to add the test service. After the simulation and evaluation is complete, provision the service. During service verification, it is found that the new test service does not meet the bank's expectation and also affects other services. To resolve this problem, the bank needs to quickly roll back the change. Click the Smart Assistant icon on the right to access the Intent Management Center 
We can then find all the service provisioning records. Select the desired service provisioning record and click the rollback icon. After the rollback is complete, go to the VPC orchestration page. The newly provisioned test service has been deleted and other services have been restored. Well, that's all for this episode of Test It, Believe It. Thank you 